fourth grade. Welcome back. I am so glad you are here. Today, we are going to take all of those inferring skills that we learned throughout the week, and we're going to put them to good use by being detectives. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. All you need is my screen for today um, to follow along, and I'm going to explain exactly what we are doing. So as you can see, it says Detective Day. We are going to put on our detective hats and use our inferring skills to see if we can figure out what these poems are talking about. So, oh, let's see what Bookie has to say first. A detective. What? Now, where's my magnifying glass? Uh, he's a detective. Um, all right. So, here is how this is going to work. Uh-oh. I'm going to read it to you. You, as I read, you are going to try to think of what you're going to infer in order to figure out what this poem is about. So let's just take a look at that title. Life is picking up. Hmm. Life is picking up. Ooh. And if you look at the first line, I get up really early. So it must be a person because it says I, I'm assuming might not be, but let's read and find out. So Life is picking up. I get up early. I get up really early. Then come driving down your street. It's an awfully dirty job, but in a way, it's kind of me. After all, I am important. Without me, the world would stink. And believe me, that would not be half as cool as you might think. So bring me all your wrappers and your eggshells and your tissues. I'd rather not get into all the sanitary issues. But I'd like to say one thing about the garbage bags you use. Make sure they're strong or all your trash will fall out on my shoes. Who am I? So pause it, read it again, make some inferences, and try to figure out who this person is. And unpause when you're ready. All right. So did you figure it out? It's a trash man because it says it's a dirty job. And without me, the world would stink. And it talks about wrappers and eggshells and tissues. And then the really big clue at the bottom when he talks about the garbage bags. And if they're not strong, it falls out on his shoes. So all of this stuff, we used our background knowledge of knowing what a garbage man does, and we put it together with what the text was saying, and we found out that it was a garbage man. All right. Rolling along. I sit in the chair that's made especially for me and make sure everything's just the way it should be. I say cool things like roll them and lights, camera, action, and to suddenly scream, cut, is a normal reaction. I drink gourmet espresso from a huge coffee cup, and I love when my movies receive two thumbs up. People listen to me. My job's great, that's a fact, because I spend all day telling folks how they should act. Who am I? Pause it, reread if you need to, you can listen to me read it again by rewinding and try to figure out who they're talking about. Okay, so if you guessed in director, you are absolutely correct. And you have some great clues to make some inferences in here. It says lights, camera, action. You can use that background knowledge to say who says light, camera's action. Clearly, it's not a teacher like me. I don't say light, camera, lights, camera, action. It would be a director that says that. Um, gourmet espresso. I might drink gourmet espresso, but I don't also say lights, camera, action. Um, let's see. Receive two thumbs up. Definitely a director. People listen to them and they spend all day telling folks how they should act. So clearly it's a director. Great job. Let's try again, detectives. My pet projects. If your puppy isn't feeling well, or your kitty cat has fleas, or your pet monkey got scraped while he was swinging through the trees. I am the one to come to when you've got a queasy bunny, or an elephant that's sneezing, 
or a pig whose nose is runny. I'm also good for checkups and those shots that all pets need. Just bring in any dog or cat and I'll tell you their breed. Last week I helped this strange man whose giraffe had a sore throat. It wasn't funny, but I got a kick out of his goat. Who am I? Pause it. Reread. Listen to me reread it again by rewinding if you need to. Try to come up with some inferences or who it is by inferring. All right, guys. Did you guess a veterinarian? I knew it. You're just so smart because he talks about helping all of these animals and you use that background knowledge and saying, I know that a veterinarian is somebody who helps all types of animals. Granted, we're not gonna see people around here with a giraffe as a pet. I don't think anybody has a giraffe as a pet. So it's kind of a silly poem, but we know that it would be a veterinarian. All right, let's go to the next one. Take one. My job is more like play than it is like work. And the big fancy cars are a definite perk. But what beats out the fame and the fortune and fun is that I can pretend to be anyone. Sometimes I'm real angry. Sometimes I'm real sad. Sometimes I'm an angel and sometimes I'm bad. Whether I'm on stage or a camera's on me, I become someone else's. What a fun way to be. Who am I? So pause, reread it, try to come up with who it is by using your inferencing as you read. Awesome, so did you guys get an actor? Awesome, so you got an actor because you know that they have big fancy cars, right? Those actors make a lot of money. They have big fancy cars um, and they get to be all these emotions on stage and they're on camera or stage, all of these clues that you could infer that it's an actor. All right. Awesome job, detectives. So let's see what Bookie has to say. It's been real, you lovely RPS fourth graders. I can't wait to see you again in a few weeks. Keep working hard and remember, crush it. Oh, that's nice, Bookie. Let's go back here. All right, guys. You did a phenomenal job this week inferring. I'm so proud of you and coming every day and showing up and continuing with your education. It's been real. Take care.